Brief chill, barely one there at all. The sun rises at 701. The wind will eventually start to pick up here out of the south. 10 miles per hour this morning and then 20 miles an hour this afternoon with gusts to 25. The record high for today is 73. We're going to get there at noon and then we're going to keep going. The warmest part of the day yet ahead, 4 o'clock this afternoon, 79 degrees. Now, if we can get there, not only will we just smash the record high for today, but it will be the third warmest day ever recorded in the month of February. Pretty crazy. 79 in Lenexa, Bonner Springs and DeSoto. From Prairie Village to Raytown to Lee Summit, upper 70s, near 80 in Parkville, in Glidestone, in Liberty at 77 degrees, near 80 in KCK, back to the west in Lawrence. Lawrence, I'm going to put you right at 80. St. Joseph, you too, 80 degrees for this afternoon with a southwest wind. It might be a little more of a westerly wind in St. Joseph. That's where the fire danger may be the highest, where we have the strongest southwest wind. That's a dry down sloping wind that's coming from a higher elevation up terrain to a lower one that really heats the air quite quickly. Outdoor burning is discouraged for today. You've been doing great so far this week with that. Properly disposing the cigarette butts. That's a big one. You'd be surprised at how many grass fires start like that. The one a few weeks ago in Overland Park that Johnny was over, that one started with the cigarette butt. Thursday tomorrow, a mostly cloudy sky. Moisture coming up from the south as a warm front lifts over us. That will create lift for showers and possibly even a few thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon into the evening. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening north of Kansas City. That's where we might have those thunderstorms with strong wind and even small hail. The bulk of that storm, though, it goes to the north of Kansas City with heavier snow for Des Moines and Iowa. The day I want you to keep in mind is Friday. Temperatures falling into the low 40s and the weekend looks quite chilly as well.